Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about nature of the solute particle size and solvent affect the rate of solubility. This will be the first quarter topic and learning competency number 10. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to explain the relationship between the temperature and the solubility of solids. The second one is to conduct experiments to investigate the effects of solute, particle size, and solvent on the rate of solubility. And the last one is to appreciate the importance of the effect of particle size and steering on the solubility of the solid material by answering the spider diagram. Inactivating prior knowledge, so the learners will unlock the hidden words and write the words in the space provided. the learners will compare the solubility of different solid substances when exposed to a solvent with varying temperatures. In unlocking content vocabulary, so we are going to use the match type In developing and deepening of understanding, so we are going to explain the three factors that affecting the dissolving. The rate of dissolving is very important property of solutions. The rate of dissolving depends on several factors such as temperature, agitation, and particle size. For most solid solutes, the rates of dissolving is greater at higher temperatures. At high temperatures, the solvent molecules have greater kinetic energy and collide with undissolved solid molecules more frequently. Agitating a mixture by stirring or shaking the container increases the rate of dissolving. Agitation brings fresh solvent into contact with undissolved solute. Decreasing the size of the particles increases the rate of dissolving. When a large mass of solute is broken into smaller pieces, the surface area in contact with the solvent increases. The reasons why a solute may or may not dissolve in a solvent are related to the forces of attraction between the solute and the solvent particles. When the forces of attraction between different particles in a mixture are stronger than the forces of attraction between like particles in a mixture, a solution forms. For the explicitation, you are going to ask the learners to investigate how factors such as temperature, particle size, and steering effect the solubility of the substance and the rate at which substance dissolve. So they are going to do the activity called the size matters.
for the lesson activity, the learners will arrange the correct sequence of process of dissolving at particle level by writing down a number before each step. So the diagram serves a guide in identifying the